Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and the fourth and final DLC for Call of Duty World War 2 has officially been announced. It is titled Shadow War and it is releasing next Tuesday, August 28th on PlayStation 4 first, of course, and it will be coming to PC and Xbox 30 days later as always, which is good news. You know, I was really thinking us Xbox folks would be getting DLC for after the release of Black Ops 4 with Black Ops were coming out in October rather than November but it looks like we'll be getting two weeks of playtime before Black Ops 4 takes the Call of Duty throne for the rest of the year. So Shadow War will run your standard $14.99 USD. It comes with your three multiplayer maps, your one war map, and then your one zombies experience. They released a DLC trail that had some multiplayer footage and some zombies footage this time that was really really interesting and caught my attention. We'll talk about that soon. And we have some descriptions of the maps that will be going over right now so the first multiplayer map we have is airship which is a military base in the swiss alps it is a snow map thank you sinister loves his snow maps it's high in the mountains which is atmospherically interesting and it features a docked zeppelin that you can run in and out of it's part of the map the map seems to be a medium size maybe a larger scale map for world war ii i can't really tell based off the footage but it is open it's a flat map and some of the buildings Buildings around the map have some more verticality to them with some ladders and things like that. But it's a very interesting concept. I like the setting and I'd like to see some more footage from it. The next map we have is Chancellery. This is a nighttime map. It takes place in the Chancellery. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I didn't look up how to pronounce that. But it is the building from that French mission in the campaign where you play as the French female spy. Uh, there's courtyards, alleys, all different little flank routes to take. It seems to have a good mix of indoor and outdoor areas kind of like Market Garden from DLC 3 and judging off the size of the building it seems like it might be a medium map but who knows it could be really small maybe they're only using part of the building in the map uh, we'll have to wait and see but apparently you can hide in the trucks around the courtyard and do some camping and pick people off so that should make for some fun times some fun great classic Call of Duty gameplay <laughs> and then the third DLC map we have is Excavation this is a mining facility in Algeria uh, honestly we don't really know much about this map other than that the trailer footage and the description were kind of scarce i did notice there were some mining tunnels and they seem to be very roomy apparently there's a hole in the middle of the map that drops you into like a highly trafficked area so i guess there's going to be some verticality to this map and that area has like a bunch of gold jewels arts and stuff and is good for some action-packed gameplay but this map reminds me a lot of gulch from modern warfare 3 it was like one of the last dlc maps for that so uh it looks cool well, hopefully there's some more creative stuff in there and yeah that's for the multiplayer maps let's get into war which is kind of tied into zombies we'll be talking about both it's very interesting so the war name is operation arcane this is a research facility in the austrian mountains seems like we're gonna have to infiltrate a lab which seems like an escort the tank type mission then we have to steal lab secrets which may be some like capture point stuff and then destroy some ufos apparently not sure how that's gonna work out but this map this war map features tesla guns and super soldier serum this is where pushing that multiplayer creativity comes into play you see this glowy green juice in the trailer apparently this is one of these super soldier serums and one of the serums like will give you a sword and like five times your normal health when you're on defense which is very interesting and what is more interesting is that this seems to be tied directly into zombies and they purposefully kind of edited it so you see this in one of the shots you see the soldier injecting himself with the serum and you see that there's nazi or axes crates in front of him to signify that they are on the enemy side and then you can see these six ally players of the war match shown through the crate and they deliberately made sure that you could see that when you pause the screen and then one of the following lines in the zombies part of the trailer is like why are they feeding the nazis or something and then they ran with that green serum and kind of did some quick cuts and transitions and then transition directly into the zombies part of the storyline so it seems like they purposely did this to tie multiplayer and zombies together maybe advance the zombie story even more i don't know it's really interesting and i'm i'm really curious to see what they are doing with this uh 
We're moving to the last bit, these zombies. The map is called Frozen Dawn. I vaguely know the zombie storyline, so I'm not sure what's really happening. But I know this is going to be the last chapter in the Nazi zombie storyline for World War II. This brings your main characters to the pinnacle of the story, the final confrontation. We're seeing some weird, like, you know, darkness, zombie, jump scare type of settings. We're seeing some, I know there's like some weird ancient, like, artifact king stuff going on in zombies you see some zombie with like some king's heads on him and all this weird stuff i think like the main doctor is covered in some weird like the red dusty i don't really know what's going on but a little bunch of crazy stuff looks very interesting there's some like new transformative melee weapons you see some guy throw like a thor hammer in there they have some weird charging shield a bunch of different stuff that should make the zombies gameplay really fun and make sure you actually want to play zombies in world war ii for once it looks very very interesting it looks like some creative gameplay i'm really curious to see how what they're doing to tie zombies in multiplayer if they're actually like doing something with that it's just for uh gameplay elements so i'm curious to see what that looks like that's dlc for the theme for this dlc unlike previous dlcs there really doesn't appear to be a direct theme for shadow war the first one we had like the french resistance second dlc we had the nazi war machine and then the third dlc we had like the push to berlin for DLC 4, each map takes place in like an enemy locale, but they stated that they wanted to push the World War II fiction as far as possible and make creative and fun experiences in multiplayer for people, which is a different philosophy that we've had for a majority of World War II you know, ever since, uh, what's his face, left Michael Conrad. They've been being more creative with their camels and things like that. So I actually have some pretty high expectations for DLC 4, and I think that idea comes across in the trailer. Sadly, there's no Pacific themed DLC coming out which is kind of a bummer but there is this promotion where you can party up with a season pass owner and play the dlc maps for free if you don't own them which is pretty big and i have some things to say about that so keep an eye out for another upload covering that pretty soon but again dlc 4 comes out next tuesday five days from now let me know what you guys think down below in the comments that'll be it for this video my name is Andrew skater as always thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe for future gaming call of duty content and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads links are down below in the description for 10 percent off control freaks as well as into the am apparel and you can find all the goodies down there like my amazon associates link links to all my gear i use to record produce videos all cool stuff like that so again thanks for watching my name is Andrew skater i'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.